Hey friend, it's Mohammed Musaddiq. Welcome to my channel Tutorials for Everyone. Guys, today I'm going to start a new series. In fact, a new video series regarding the F5 load balancer which is Big IP Local Traffic Managers. Yeah, you heard it right. That is Big IP LTM. So if you are new to F5, then you are at the right place because I'm going to uh, explain each and everything regarding F5 we will deploy we will download deploy and set up the lab environment and at that particular lab environment we will do our lab so uh, let's get started with this series and uh, if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe my channel and let's get started so friends in this video we are performing three tasks first of all we need to download the virtual um, image of the big IP LTM secondly we need to deploy it on VMware workstation and thirdly we need to set up our lab environment obviously we will use that particular lab environment into in our upcoming videos so what you need to do is that you need to open up browser you have to type big f5 big IP LTM virtual edition trial you will come up with the first link and uh, you need to click on big IP virtual edition once you do that you will be redirected to another page here and on that particular page you will see that you have to follow four steps in order to get the software or you can say you have to download the software so what are those steps first of all you need to log in or register because it is a 30 day trial so first you need to log in or register if you don't have an account you have to register and then you can request your keys and download the software and obviously you can launch it and bind those keys into your image which you have downloaded so I, I already have an account and I already in fact downloaded the image as you can see at the bottom right bottom uh, on the on the Google Chrome but uh, I'm going through uh, with you so that you can understand that what is the procedure to download the image so you need to log in into your account once you do that you will be redirected to another page where you have to enter you know a uh, couple of things and uh, you can see that <clears throat> you just have to enter what is the purpose of the trial you can select it and here I'm selecting it this one and then uh, what is your job title your function obviously and what uh, which trial would you like I'm uh, specifying it uh, which I'm like and how many licenses I'm specifying like, two licenses so that I can you know play with the HA high availability in, uh, as well so you just have to type the capture and request the license key once you do that you will be red redirected to another page from there you can download your software so once you do that you will get an email from the F5 mentioning those keys and let me show you that that I already got it from F5 uh, you can see that I've got an email and um, the request keys are available so let me go to that particular page where from where you can download the image now <clears throat> so this is the page get started with big IP virtual edition you can scroll it down and you can read all that stuff and actually we are interested in big, big IP VE we, so we scroll it down yeah you can see that now we have to select the hypervisor so we are doing it on VMware so we have to <clears throat> go to the VMware and download the big IP VE image and here you can select that <clears throat> which one you need to download that so I'm going to 15 104 virtual edition yeah once you click that you have to accept the terms and there you can see that <clears throat> sorry there are multiple images so first one is 15 104 with all stuff but we are interested in LTN so we need to scroll it down and select that particular one here you can see that so we'll click on that yeah this one so once you click that you know download locations will be appear you have to select the you know the the nearby location from your from your side and once you do that download will be started and you can see that I have already downloaded it and it's appear right in the bottom of my Google Chrome here you can see that so uh, once you download that we will deploy it in the next phase so guys now I am going to deploy it on VMware workstation so if you don't have VMware workstation just download it and install it and click on file click on open and select that particular image which you have downloaded it 
so once you do that you have to accept the terms click next and here you can type the name you want for instance big ip dash this click on browse so here you can select the directory where this vm will be installed i am selecting it here and i'll be going into the next tab yeah once you click on the next you will have to select that how many cpus in the ram you want so i'll go with the default one now i'm going to click on import once i do that you will see that the installation will be started and maybe it will take a while so at some point of time i need to pause this video and come back when the installation has been done so you you will see that and in the meanwhile if you are liking this video and if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe it and like the video and if you do have any queries do mention in the comment section so that i can get back to you and respond accordingly so uh, let me see that how much time it will take well maybe i need to pause this video because it will take a while so once it's done i'll come back with the complete installation so guys uh, you can see that the installation has been done and uh, <clears throat> now there are the multiple power adopters network adopters which are by default available in this uh, vm and uh, all, they are all in the bridge mode uh, so i have to just right click uh, on this particular vm and go into the properties and you will see that there are the four adopters network adopters and all are in bridge mode so i actually i need to change them because my my topology uh, requires that so but um, there is some limitation that i have only i can only change one uh, network adapter into the host mode uh, but i need to fix those so uh, let me do that so guys before i power up this machine i need to i need to set up the network adapters according to my topology and you can see my topology right in the bottom of this screen and uh, you can see that that right now all adapters are in the bridge mode so in order to fix that i have to go into the edit and go into the virtual machine editor virtual network editor in fact and you can see that i just have only two adapter one for the nad and one for the uh, one for the bridge so i have to select on the change setting and once i do that you can see that vmnet 0 is for the is in the bridge mode and vmnet 1 is the host only so i need to ha add a couple of adapters here vmnet 2 and you can see that it is in the host mode host only and i have to add another network which is vmnet 3 and i'm adding this as well so you can see that my uh, like i do have three host only uh, network adapters and one is in the bridge mode so this is these four adapters i will be using in my lab setup so now i have to click on the apply and the, the changes will be applied oh i forgot to change the ip addresses scheme as well let uh, well we'll do that later on so now um, as you can see in the table that we do have three uh, adapters which are the host only and one is uh, one is bridge mode so i have to just apply these settings so right click on the settings and first of all you need to go to network adapter first the first one change into the go to the custom and select the vmnet one okay and just okay second one is in the bridge mode that's okay we don't want to change that one we are uh, network adapter 2 we need to go into the vmnet 2 host only network adapter 3 uh, like so we have vmnet 3 and i have to apply the settings again just click on the ok so now the changes has been made as per my requirement uh, well now i just go back and uh, you know assign the ip addresses i have to click again on the edit go into the virtual network select the vmnet one chain uh, in fact before i do that i have to select change settings so vmnet one is the host only i have to provide my subnet here yeah 10.1.0.0 .1 .0 into two five five two similarly i have to provide the ip addresses for the vmnet 2 and the vmnet 3 respectively 
so yeah these are the three networks which are actually my internal networks and the bridge one will be my external network okay here we go so the changes has been applied uh, again it will take a while couple of minutes maybe so don't forget to mention any queries in the comment section so yeah it's done now I'm going to before I power up this machine let me show you that that my VM adapters are enabled so just go into the network ensuring center go into the change adapter settings here you can see that I already enabled my VM adapters so going to the properties TCP IPv4 here you can see that the first one is set 10101 similarly second one 10201 yeah you can see that so the adapters are up and running and it's available for for my lab environment and um, let's start this machine so I'm going to power up this machine so yeah it will take a while definitely so in the upcoming videos I'm going to tell you that how we can um, we can enable the GUI of the of the big I PLTM and we have to register our keys so that the licenses has been applied and then we are up and running for our future videos so if you have any queries do do mention and here you can see that that it's been loading and it's been booting up so just bear with me and it will pop up with couple of you know passwords it will ask for the password but I'm not going to you know provide any password right now so because mm, this is what I have for today and uh, uh, in the upcoming videos we will take up it from here and we'll follow the that particular that topology which you are just seeing it in your screen so just bear with me it will definitely pop up with the password yeah here you can see that it will it is asking for the default login the login so so this is what I have for today and uh, in the upcoming videos I'll take up from here and uh, do guys thank you so much for watching it stay tuned for the upcoming videos